Hello dear students, how are you? I hope you are all doing fine. Uh, today we are gonna uh, continue our chapter, chapter 11, but uh, section 4, a new section, the last section in this chapter about weave interactions. We have started already uh, the properties of weaves in our last section, the previous section, section 3. Today we are gonna continue but another new topic which is called weave interactions. So first of all, let me ask you a question. Can two, uh, can two objects or two materials uh, occupy the same place at the same time? Can you put two objects or two object materials at the same uh, time in the same place? No, we can't, right? So the two materials or two object material, uh, two different material objects can never occupy the same space, can never occupy the same space at the same time maybe at different times you can put a book here and after a while you can remove it and put another thing but at the same time you can put two different objects at the same space no you cannot do that so two different material objects can never occupy the same space at the same time so but what about waves can two waves two waves occupy the same space at the same time let's see for example if you are listening carefully a concert, okay, concert means many different uh, musical instruments. Can you distinguish between them? Can you differentiate between the different musical instruments in concert? For example, there are different musical instruments like flute, like uh, trumpet, like uh, piano, like uh, violin, like guitar. Can you distinguish between them? Yes, you can. Yes, of course, you can differentiate between them. Although they occur at the same time, although they occur at the same time, but you can't do that. Why? Because simply the waves, the mechanical waves, of course, sound waves, as we have said before, sound waves considered mechanical waves, and the mechanical waves are not matter. They are not matter. They are not material object. They are displacement of matter. So they are different. Yes, so they can occupy, actually, they can occupy the same space at the same time. They are not like any uh, other material object. So both mechanical waves, uh, because mechanical waves are not matter, but rather are displacement of matter. It's better to say displacement of matter, not matter. The two waves can occupy the same space at the same time. As we have said before for that example in listening or uh, listening the different musical instruments in the concert. concert. So this uh, overlapping, this overlapping between the two waves together is called superposition is called superposition so the combination of two overlapping waves the combination the mixing of two overlapping waves is called superposition and by the way this superposition is not only applied for the mechanical waves also electromagnetic waves like visible light can undergo superposition so it's not applied only for the mechanical waves any other kind of wave so visible light and other forms of electromagnetic radiation also can undergo superposition okay so again superposition what does it mean the combination of two overlapping waves so let's see an example here here is two waves are overlapping or undergoing superposition first of all the bigger one notice carefully the bigger one okay is going to the right side while the smaller one is going to the left side they are going to overlap here okay notice well be careful so again the larger pulse is moving to the right while the smaller pulse moves toward the left and at the moment the two waves pulse meet the resultant wave is formed yes so at this point or at this plate they are going to meet together a new pulse is formed or a new wave is formed is called a resultant wave yes this new wave is called a resultant wave so the resultant wave when the two pulses exactly coincide overlap together the amplitude of the resultant wave is equal to the sum of the amplitudes of each pulse how for example listen here is an amplitude What's meant by amplitude? First, do you remember amplitude is the maximum displacement away from the equilibrium position. 
By the way, here is the equilibrium position. This uh, horizontal line, okay? So this horizontal line considered the equilibrium position. And here is the amplitude of the smaller one. And here is the amplitude of the bigger one. The summation of both amplitudes is the amplitude of the resultant wave. Okay? So again, when the two pulses exactly coincide, overlap, the amplitude of the resultant wave, the amplitude of the new wave, the resultant wave, is equal to the sum of these amplitudes of each pulse, this one and the other one. The summation of both amplitudes giving us uh, the amplitude of the resultant one. This method of summation of the displacement is known as superposition principle. Again, this submission or this method of submission adding the displacement of waves is known as superposition principle. So according to this principle, in general, this principle telling us what? When two or more waves travel through a medium at the same time, the resultant wave is the sum of the displacement of the individual waves of each point. Again, what is the uh, aim of this principle, the superposition principle? What is the aim of this principle? When two or more waves, like this one, two or more waves travel through a medium at the same time, at the same time, the resultant wave, the new one, this one, the resultant wave, is the sum of displacement of the individual waves at each point. So the displacement of this one and the other one, the, dis the summation of both of them, giving us the amplitude of the uh, resultant wave. Okay, and after that, what will happen? Again, the smaller one with its normal shape, its normal shape, again, continue back into the, its uh, direction, the left side, and the bigger one, again, with its normal shape without any change back again to its direction which was the right direction okay huh. so after the two pulses pass through the each other what happens each pulse has the same shape again not as if nothing happened it had before the waves met and each is still traveling in the same direction so again after the two pulses pass uh, through each other each pulse has the same shape has the same shape it had before the wave met and each is still traveling in the same direction the one was uh, which was traveling to the right continue traveling to the right and the other one which was traveling to the left it will continue traveling to left okay so this kind of wave or this kind of interference of overlapping or super uh, position is called constructive interference constructive interference so what does it mean, constructive interference? It means a superposition of two or more waves in which individual displacements, each one, each displacement, on the same side of the equilibrium position. What does it mean, the same side of the equilibrium position? Both of them, as we ha you have noticed, both of them, both of the two waves, ha are on the same side of the equilibrium position, are up above the equilibrium position not one of them below and the other is above both of them both of them at the same side of the equilibrium position are added together to form the resultant wave so this kind of interference is called constructive interference or this kind of superposition is called constructive interference it should be on the same side of the equilibrium position and by the way this principle, the superposition principle, holds true for all types of waves, no matter what mechanical or electromagnetic waves, both of them. Okay, again, the superposition principle holds true for all types of waves, either uh, mechanical or electromagnetic. So let's see if the superposition of the two waves on the opposite side of the equilibrium position. So what kind of interference will be? Let's see the next example. Ha, huh, like this one. Can you notice these two waves or these two pulses? One of them up and the other is down. Or in other words, here is the equilibrium position. One of them above the equilibrium position and the other one below the equilibrium position. 
so both pulses are in different or opposite uh, sides of the equilibrium position that's why it's not considered constructive interference here is a new interference or a new superposition is called destructive destructive interference so let's see if the two pulses are on opposite sides of the equilibrium position as it appears here as it's shown here the displacements have different signs yes different signs mean one, one of them is positive and the other one is negative as we have said before in the simple harmonic motion okay so here is the displacement will be positive and the other will be negative one positive and one negative so what happens if they are having uh, different signs when the positive and negative displacements are added what happened to make a resultant wave the resultant wave is the difference between the pulses which is called destructive interference as we have said since a while this interference is called destructive interference not like the other one why again because the two sides are not at the same side of the uh, because the two pulses are not at the same side of the equilibrium position but here the opposite sides so the difference between them or adding both of them to get the resultant wave it makes the difference between them for example if the, if the amplitude here equals three meter and the other one equal negative two this one is positive three and this one is negative two so three negative two equal one the difference between them okay so it's different from the other one the inter, uh, the constructive so after the pulse is separate again at the last picture after the pulse is separate from each other their shapes back again and unchanged it means like the other one this one is going back again is continuing back again to the left side while the other one continue back again to the right side nothing changes so what's meant by destructive interference Destructive interference means a superposition, again, of two or more waves in which, here is the difference, in which individual displacements on opposite sides of the equilibrium position are added together to form the resultant wave. Here is a resultant wave, but again, the superposition here of two or more waves is different in what? Both in the, on opposite sides of the equilibrium position. The other one it was on the same sides of the equilibrium position so here is the difference so this kind of interference is called destructive interference while the other one is called constructive interference so let's see this case what about if we have two pulses if we have two pulses in the opposite sides but they are equal in amplitude they are equal in amplitude but different signs one of them positive and the other one is negative so what what do what do you think about the uh, resultant wave its amplitude equals what huh, you can think for a while for example this amplitude they have two different amplitude the other one the first one or the upper one three positive three and the other one negative three so the difference between them equal yes zero so when two pulses of equal amplitude but with displacement of opposite signs opposite signs one of them is positive and the other is negative what happens when the two pulses coincide and the displacements are added the resultant wave has a displacement of zero as we have said because positive three minus three equals zero positive seven minus seven equals zero and so on so this situation this situation is called uh, complete destructive interference complete destructive interference by this way by the way at the instant the two pulses overlap at the instant the two pulses overlap at this instant at this time they completely cancel each other which means or as if it was no disturbance at all i mean in this case in this situation which is called complete destructive interference what happens at the instant or at the time the two pulses overlap together they completely cancel each other as if there is no disturbance at all as if there is no disturbance happens and again this situation is called complete destructive interference not just destructive interference but 
complete destructive interference since the two pulses have equal amplitudes but opposite signs okay so today we uh, uh, we have studied the difference between destructive interference and uh, constructive interference study them well and be ready for the rest of the section see you next time inshallah bye bye